Welcome to eGroupware. Today we'll show how contacts and events of customers or partners can be edited with address book, calendar and infolog. eGroupware CRM view in our address book here plays a major role. In customer relationship management the focus is always on your customer. All important informations and processes can be displayed here. Via a double click on a contact you open a CRM view. On the left hand side all contact details are shown while the main window displays all infolog entries concerning this person. As a user you thereby get a quick overview of all relevant processes, phone calls, to-dos or notes. You can easily create new entries right here. On the left hand side you edit your contact details or return to standard view. To-dos or contact data. What you edit in CRM view is always also saved in address book Infolog or Calendar. The software therefore integrates different applications and interlinks your customer's data. Like this, Infolog entries can also be displayed in your calendar. In Infolog's preferences, you define via data exchange settings which types of entries should be displayed in your calendar. Entries can be shown like events or in today's view on the right hand side in a separate to do list. Here, entries are displayed from their start until they are done. In our example, it is preset that phone calls are shown in our calendar like events, to do's in the to do list on the right hand side, and notes only in infolog. Via data exchange settings, you could, for example, also display notes. eGroupware here adapts to every user's needs and habits. After changing data exchange settings, I log out once and log in again to make sure all new settings are saved. It's also possible to edit entries and calendar that will then be taken over in Infolog. An example could be a call. If I postpone the relevant call in my calendar, Infolog automatically updates the entry as well. Infolog can be filtered via type and status in top left corner. In the upper menu bar, more filters structure your content. To show entries I have to work on, I choose Responsible. For processes that I created but a colleague is responsible for, I click on Delegated. Like this, Infolox can be filtered via competence, time or status. To adapt eGroupware to your company's processes, you can also create your own Infolox types. Therefore, click on Custom Fields on the left hand side under Admin. Enter a new name and then choose Create. There's also an option to generate an additional status for all types. An extra status could be urgent or inactive. In case I create an infolog entry and a colleague should be responsible for the process, I delegate it. Like this the relevant colleague automatically gets access to the entry. To attach data, I pull files directly to the relevant process via drag and drop or select them via links. Beside calendar and address book, eGroupware mail is linked to Infolog2. You receive the mail and directly want to save the contact in your address book. If you hover over the address, a small symbol to save it appears on the left. Now you can edit details and easily generate a new customer contact. If you receive a mail from a customer, you can easily save this mail as an Infolog. In case another colleague or group is responsible for the process, you delegate the entry. Like this, your colleagues also get access to your customer's mail. Infolog as an information logbook can be used as a personal to-do list. I could for example save all processes that I am responsible for as a favorite. In addition, it can be used as an all-round tool for customer relationship management. In that case, it is very flexible and customer-oriented. Here, the integration of address book and CRM view with mail and calendar offers lots of different options. Have fun while trying your eGroupware team.